So hi there Gemini, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general reading for all the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, this is a reading for month of Feb 2023 and uh, this is not a love reading but whatever messages will come, I'll just let you people know. Let's see what is coming towards you in Feb. Okay, so the overall energy for Gemini people for this month of Feb 2023, let's see what is that. Hermit, okay, thinking a lot about the future direction, thinking a lot about past, past people, past situation, past career, whatever uh, was very important for you in the past, thinking a lot about the future direction of your life, Gemini, this is going to be the overall energy for this month, let's clarify the Hermit card, what you are thinking about, King of Wands, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, you are still living in the past Gemini, you had a connection, you had a relationship, you had a situation between you and somebody and you've always felt like this is match made in heaven kind of energy. You are thinking a lot about the past person, past situation, living in the past. So uh, I think this whole month is going to be in this energy of uh, trying to find a new direction in your life but still thinking about the past situation or past person, carrying those, uh, those nostalgic feelings and uh, those memories with you, okay? This is going to be the overall theme. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't want to turn every reading into a love reading, but I, uh, what can I do now? <laughs> See, this came. This, the, these card came, cards came for you. It could be possible it was office romance or it was short term romance, but still you are waiting or still you are uh, like uh, thinking about that a lot. Let's see in the recent past, what was the energy? Tower, whoa. A breakup, a separation, a tower moment, moment, sudden unexpected things happen between you and somebody or it was simply a tower moment for you, something that you felt like it's never going to end and it's a very strong thing or strong, strong connection or strong career or whatever it was, it fell apart. It was very sudden and unexpected. Let's clarify the tower, Gemini. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Wow. I think you start, you you tried your best to start something. Start something, you know. After a breakup or separation, after things were not working out, I think you start, you felt like started something again, but it ended again. Because it was a very burdensome situation. It was a very heavy situation to handle. Again, it could be related to your business, job, career, or it could be related to a relationship that ended abruptly. You tried your best, Gemini, to save this situation, to save this relationship or to save this uh, scenario. But again, when you uh, felt like it is, it is going to work out, it fell apart um, because it was very, very burdensome, very heavy to handle, right? You tried, but you failed. But let me tell you, failure is always, always the key to success. Crisis is always the key to going to your, uh, meeting your higher powers, meeting your higher self. So take it positively, sweetie. Let's see current energies. Knight of Cups. Okay. Either you are waiting for this per, this particular love offer to come towards you or you are giving this cup of love to somebody. Uh, okay. Let me tell you. This is Knight of Cups. This is not a mature situation or mature love or mature person to deal with. Actually, I am going to be honest with you. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. I will clarify then we will see what is happening exactly. Let's see. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands. Wow. Gemini, you are dealing with lots of people. Lots of knights, lots of immature people, immature things, immature situations in your life. Okay. you. Okay, this is your wish fulfillment kind of, that somebody should come towards you, right? Somebody should take some kind of uh, action towards you. It could be very much possible that you are dealing with multiple energies at the same time and you are not able to understand which energy is good for you, which energy is bad for you. So whatever is giving you this instant happiness, instant noodles kind of happiness, you are you are just in this energy of, okay, this is giving me happiness, let's go with this. Even though you know this is not stable or this is not good for you or this is not uh, 
going to make you happy for a long term it could be possible that you are turning into a casual player kind of energy because you were very hurt in the past now you are in this energy of let's have fun and let's forget let's uh, you know uh, just do whatever is coming just date whosoever is coming or just do whatever you are feeling like doing right now especially physical involvement or physical you are craving for true love gemini but what you are doing is you are doing uh, exactly the reverse of true love or deep intimacy don't do that i think you are dealing with multiple people your mind is completely messed up you are not able to understand what you should do and that's why either you are trying to show somebody that you are very happy or you are just trying to fool yourself that yeah you are happy everything is fine don't do this don't do this gemini you are going to regret it a lot okay i i <laughs> where my cards are like right now you are trying to keep yourself happy by very unstable or by very stupid means honestly speaking this is not good for you let's see what's coming towards you by the end of this month feb okay february 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 yeah queen of swords lots of clarity nine of swords so i think uh, you will be in this energy of getting some kind of clarity about a situation in your life although you will not be able to cope up with this completely but trust me queen of swords the more you are going to cut lots of people lots of situation toxic people unstable minded people are uh, out of your life the more you are going to be in this energy for okay i got it you will get it but you have to cut a lot of people and situations out of your life you have to be the queen of swords the the gender doesn't matter okay so you have to start staying in your power you have to be literally in this energy of cold and off and detached and you have to understand from a an analytical mind without emotions that this is how your life should be this is how your uh, future life should be so cutting a lot of people and situation out of your life is on the cards for you let's clarify the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy this is you only yeah two of pentacles seven of swords ten of cups so by the end of this month i think you are going to get clarity about something about a situation that you were not that you were not able to deal with or that you were trying to escape from you were trying to escape from some kind of reality or truth now by the end of this month you are you will be in this energy of cutting this confusion cutting this crap out of your life and uh, you know uh, uh, getting the knowledge getting the truth out of a situation out of a relationship out of a connection you will get to know something about a situation that is going to set you free even though it is going to be a little hurtful for you to understand to accept but trust me this is what is going to set you free for your another day for your future direction of your life okay so something is coming out to lies so you are going to get you are going to get some kind of clarity or truth about a particular situation or person or a family or a, a career or whatever is applicable to you and that's going to set you free that's going to make you a little bit of an uh, uh, rude person to be honest detached and cold person but from that detachment and that cold energy you will get to know where you want to go in your life i hope you are getting my point gemini let's see what is the guidance for you people for this month knight of swords eight of wands the chariot instead of trying to rush into something or rush into some kind of communication or rush into some kind of okay let's clear things out okay you should move on first you should move on from this uh, energy of rushing towards things or people or situation yes there should be heart to heart communication there should be clarity but you don't have to rush into anything i think uh, that the thing that you want to rush towards that thing is not uh, interested or that thing is not that much uh, open to receive that kind of truth or clarity or to receive this communication or to receive this kind of uh, hurried energy from your side so right now you have to be very very courageous gemini i know it's very difficult but you can do it you have to move on you have to move on completely for, from all this expectation from all this unstable energies from all these energies of you don't know where you are going please sit down with yourself write down your goals and take the action step by step don't rush into anything don't try to be happy if you are not happy just relax understand let go and then slowly but surely go towards something better okay you can do it you can definitely do it it's just a matter of time and 
thinking analytically. So thank you so much for tuning in Gemini. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.